until last night. I, I know the president listed several people that he had fired during his administration. He may want to add to that the people that prepped him for the debate last night. Uh, he It was the land of missed opportunities. Uh, and yes, I get that the ABC moderators fact-checked him and not her. I, I got a newsflash for all Republicans. He's not the first Republican candidate to run into a media headwind. In fact, every single Republican presidential candidate has run into a media headwind. It's their question, but it's your answer. And if you're talking about dogs and cats, you're, right now, Dana, you hear the power of calling the names of victims. It is incredibly powerful to call the name, to personalize the victim. Did you hear President Trump call the name of a single person raped, robbed, killed, assaulted by a border crosser last night? I did not. I heard about cats and dogs in Ohio, but I didn't hear the name of a single person that was killed as a result of Kamala Harris. How about the Afghan kids that were droned? Did you hear them brought up? I mean, any, any names. I, I, it was a land of missed opportunities to me last night. Would you do another one, Trey? He better. And he better get a brand new debate prep team. Because the goal was to get under his skin. So talk about crowd size rallies. Talk about your wealth. I mean, anybody who spent like a week in law school knows how to cross-examine someone. The key is to not take debate. I mean, when you get a question about the border or abortion and you're talking about student loans, Bill, she voted against banning partial birth abortion. That is an extreme position. She says she's in favor of Roe v. Wade, Roe v. Wade does not allow partial birth abortions. So, look, the moderators didn't fact check her, but there's no reason he can't do it. And, but to do it, you have to know the facts, and you have to be prepared. And what I saw last night was an initially prepared candidate with a good closing argument, but by that time, the jury's already made up its mind. And I just think it was a land of missed opportunities. Whoever prepped him for that debate shouldn't be part of the second no. debate. Prep. When she was AG in California, she sued Barack Obama when he was president to prevent fracking off the coast of California. That was 2016. That was a layup. Trey, thank you.